Mama is out grazing with the babies. <laughs> Look at those little babies over there sunning, living their best life. Trying to get Mama's weight back up. She definitely lost some weight during pregnancy and early nursing stages. So, lots of extra pasture time for her. You're coming with the bucket? Yeah. The boys and I are helping Miss Elsie while she is visiting with family. We're going to pick up all her dropped apples so that they don't rot under her trees. But the good thing is, is the pigs love even pest damage apples. And a lot of time, they're still yummy. So we get to eat some too. Good job, boys. Odin's supervising. He was eating that one. And now he's he's inspecting the crop. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't eat that one. The pigs will. Yeah, put that in there. Good job. Good job, boys. Keep cleaning up. I see some more on the other side. Doing a good job, guys. While we're here, we're gonna check on the figs. They're just itty bitty this year. Her first crop of pigs actually got hit by frost. Mm. So we're getting a smaller, later fig this year, but they are really good. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on these as well. Mm. And a taste, of course, just to make sure that they're, mm, 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 mm. And just like that, it started to rain on us, so we had to run for shelter. Oh, didn't get back in here, it's starting to rain. But we got a whole bucket. A lot of those are good, but the pigs love any of them, so that's always good. And Ryan's really lucky I love him, because I'm gonna save him a fig. walk back here in the woods and see what the cows are up to. They love hanging out back here. Lots of stuff for them to forage on. It's one of the things I love about the Piney Wood cattle breed is that they are more like goats where they eat a lot of forage and browse rather than just grass. So it makes them easier on the landscape, I think. But I didn't find them, so they must have been at the back of the pasture where I couldn't see. I thought they were in the woods because it's so warm out. But I did not see them. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, what do I, what do I see though? Oh, a couple of little baby pigs that can fit under the electric fence. They won't go far, mama. They're safe with you. So you see, I'm looking out this way and I don't see them. But if I walk further down this way, I'll probably find them snoozing in the shade of that big maple. That tree right in the pasture is a unique looking maple. It doesn't look like the maples I'm used to seeing. It looks more like an ornamental, like somebody planted it there. As I go back into the woods, because I didn't find them in the field, so I must have missed them back here, I see muscadines are starting to fall. And the birds have been enjoying them, apparently, because they're gone, most of them. But it's just all over the ground here. This isn't the first time that I've walked through the woods and not seen them, and they were hiding so well, camouflaged. So, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Where are they? Usually, I find them down here. 
in this bottom area. They'll be laying down, resting. I sure hope they have not got out and into our neighbor's back hay field. They haven't gotten out in a very long time, so that would be very surprising, but trying to find them back here is kind of hard too, so they're probably in here and I'm just walking right past them. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> what did I say? Camouflaged. They were up here the whole time, <laughs> right by the pig pen, hiding in the woods. Somebody turned their face and I saw the white. Could not see them with the red, but now, now I see them. Girls, you had me spooked. I didn't know where you went. Kind of camouflaged in with the tractor behind them. So I probably did see a flash of red. Is this a nice shady spot for you? Okay, no, no mama's in labor. No, no new baby, no. I totally don't know if she's bred or not, but I keep watching out for signs. There's no sign of heat and there's no sign of baby. So I am totally clueless until the middle of October deadline. That would be the latest date if she is bred. They're just being fat and lazy. I love you girls. I love my girls. It's always something too hot, too wet, too dry. <sighs> but we are getting close to the season that I love and that is fall. Yes, I love fall for many reasons. Mostly because it starts to cool off more and I enjoy being outside more often. And it's still nice and green here in Georgia for a while before we get it cold, cold. And of course, Peter Pepper calling away to his girlfriends. I think we're gonna start breeding soon. Just uh, reevaluating some things, doing some herd evaluations. We've retired most of our does, so we don't have a whole lot of breeders left anymore. So I'm trying to determine who's old enough to breed and who's young enough to breed. Yeah, we're right in that in-between stage of our herd growth. As most of you know, because you've been watching along with us during the move and everything, we did have to downsize quite a bit. So we don't have as many goats as we used to, but the ones we have are the ones that we plan on keeping forever. They tore it up, y'all. I am constantly having to refill the waters because the babies are getting in the water and taking a bath and making it full of mud. So I'm putting it half full right now so they can play in it and get that out of their system. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up, dump it out and fill it up again. And hopefully it'll stay clean a little bit longer. So the storms that came through, tore up the tarps on Titus's shelter, which was supposed to be a cow shelter, but Titus took over it, and the pig shelter. So we're gonna have to get some new tarps. Um, it really stinks because in the past, we've used the gray tarps from Ollie's, and they were really cheap and affordable, and they don't have them at this Ollie's in our town. So the cheap ones at Tractor Supply, they do not hold up at all and have been quite a disappointment, <laughs> I must say. So I'm gonna have to get a couple more tarps to repair them before the next storms come through. <sighs> it's always something, right? I put away mama and her babies, but the babies snuck back out again. They are able to go through the pallets, which is kind of good because they can get away from mom and take a break. But I put mama up so that they could come out, the two boys, because their shelter is a muddy mess and they needed a little break from that and get some of this grass too. So pretty soon we'll be looking at getting pigs out on that pasture. We've been waiting for these babies to sell. Hi guys, they're lined up 
waiting for a snack. I have some apples for you from Miss Elsie's tree. I do. I'm going to give you some apples. But once these guys sell, we'll be moving the Cooney Coonies in there probably full time. Most likely, we'll set up a electric net fence on the inside of the buck paddock so that we can have the American guinea hogs out there on that grass as well if we need to. But at least it's going to open up this area so that we can have more space to let the American guinea hogs out over here if we have the Cooney Coonies over there in that paddock. Yes, pigs make you muddy. I have mud all over me. <laughs> but I had to pet some babies. There's enough for everyone. Watching these baby pigs roll these apples around. Too funny. Once they get a grip on them, they bite in really good. And I do chop them up for them sometimes too. <laughs> I just brought this bucket over here. Ryan's going to bring the axe and chop them up more. But I just wanted to do this real quick while I was over here because they're so cute and I love to watch them. Funny babies. Plenty of apples for everyone. Yes. Even for you, Ginger. It's funny that I've named her. And I'm not even keeping her. I wish I could keep them all, but can't keep them all. You guys want some apples too? Here you go, big boy. Mom, nom, nom. Yeah. I just chomp right into them. Good boy. Yum, yum. Good apples. Say thank you, Mrs. Elsie. Oh, that's what's taking you so long. Odin, did you find the mosquitoes? You found the water table. You got all soaking wet. Dirty, dirty boy. Those mosquitoes love him. He's so sweet. <laughs> what are you eating? Say cherry, cherry tomato, sun gold. Oh, he made you go pick him some tomatoes. Yeah, I had to give him a sun gold. He loves them. He's, he's the whole thing. Yes, he does. Hello, boys. Hi. Are you here to help? Uh, I don't know what I can hear. <laughs> okay. Oh, where are you going? I thought you were going to come help. Are you just copying each other? Playing follow the leader? Oh, sweet boys. I leave you girls alone for one minute to go get daddy. And you are in the apple bucket. You girls don't need those apples. You're rotund enough. Save that for the piggies. I know, I know. Daddy's coming with your food. Yes, yes. Daddy's coming with your food. All right, Ryan. So I got a tip from Jason at Cog Hill Farm about the Plesson Bell Waterer. And I told you about it. And what did you discover? I discovered that the middle part uh, could be unscrewed and filled with something to weigh it down. Water, sand, or something. In this case, I tried water. And let's see what happened, guys. Did it work? That is the question. Would you look at that? It still has water in it. It still has water in it. That's awesome. That means it's working. It means it's working. So we got it figured out. We figured it out. And we found a use for the other water bucket that we couldn't train them how to use anyway, so. That worked out nice. Awesome. Are there any eggs in there? Oh, there's plenty of eggs. Let me see. How many eggs we got? We have. This is all from today? You didn't it leave any in here yesterday? Be because I put hay in here last night. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch in there too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, does that mean our... Does that mean our pullets are starting to lay? That might be the case. Yay! Our babies are ready. Should have brought a basket with me. So there you have it. Problem solved. Woohoo! No more chicken water trouble, hopefully, until we get our big coop built and we have an even bigger run. And then we're going to need several more five-gallon waters for sure. 
Oh. Well, that's interesting. They got all that layer pellets and they found this stray apple and that's what they want. Well, let's give them some too. Right, Odin? You want to give those chickens an apple? I do. And Odin, throw it to the pigs. Go on, Odin. Give Odin an apple to throw. See if he can throw it. Throw it to the pigs. He's probably going to try to eat it. <laughs> throw it in like your brother. See? <laughs> yep, he's eating it. I knew it. Those are good apples. <laughs> Hope it's not a slobbery cow apple. Uh, it'll be all right. Probiotics. All right, throw a whole bunch of them because they get impatient. There you go. Daddy, you giving some to the chickens? Yeah. They're cute. They, they like them too.